In this short lecture, I will outline the assumptions that guided me in developing this course. This course is designed for people who are already familiar with the Arduino Uno and are curious about the newer and shinier members of the Arduino family. One look at the Arduino products page will show that this family is big and diverse. There are Arduinos featuring different sizes, different core architectures and different capabilities. How different are these Arduinos from the familiar Arduino Uno? How much more can they do? How much new stuff will you need to learn in order to take advantage of these features? This course is designed to give answers to questions like these. In designing it, my most important assumption is that you have a good working knowledge of how the Arduino Uno works. If you have gone past the blinking LED and have played around with timers, analog to digital converters, accelerometers, temperature sensors, and have some experience with the serial port, SPI and I2C interfaces, then you will get a lot of benefit from this course. I must apologize for using the term advanced in the title of this course and not including the Arduino Uno in the lineup of advanced boards. You can do amazing things with the Arduino Uno and with its relatively humble 8-bit microcontroller, the Atmega 328P. When you look into this microcontroller, you will find hardware with a lot of potential. By using the term advanced, I wanted to emphasize the much greater potential of Arduino Uno's younger cousins. Based on hardware that features 32-bit processing cores, more storage, faster processing speeds, more communication options, and more input outputs, to name a few, the Arduinos that I discuss in this course open up a host of new possibilities in making things when compared to the Uno. But this course is not only about the hardware. I wanted to give you a glimpse of some of the software tools that you can use alongside the Arduino hardware. This is software that can help you write better and more reliable firmware for the Arduino. Software that can assist in creating applications that harness the power of your Arduino hardware and numerous modern state-of-the-art cloud software to build powerful, flexible, Internet of Things applications. To benefit from this course, you do not need to have any of the hardware that I discuss. As for the software, it is either completely free, like Atmel Studio or OpenOCD, or has a free account tier, like Timpu. Considering the higher cost of the hardware involved, you can simply sit back, relax, and watch the lectures in order to get a good understanding of each board. Armed with this information, you can then decide which board is the best fit for your next project, and go ahead to purchase it with confidence that it will do the job. Of course, if you already have the hardware, even better. Take it out, plug it in, and follow along with the lectures.